Hi Fox, welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21. The course we're going to be playing today is Honkau Bay, and it is by B101. Now, we just dropped this a couple of hours ago, so let's have a quick look at the settings here. Okay, the fairways are firm, the greens are firm, green speed's medium fast, time of day is morning, and the weather is overcast. We're going to go off the white tees at 7,148 yards, and let's get into it. Okay, what he says here. Hon Cao Bay is my latest course for the 2K designer program. This month we got the theme of island hopping. So I made a wild plot based on the island areas around Vietnam. Let's put the old sky cam on. And I'll tell you what, let's go up and there's a nice waterfall way over there in the distance, I can see it. Let's go up and have a look at the plot, shall we? Let's go up a bit quicker. There we go. Oh, definitely island hopping. A lot of islands, a lot of water. A lot of danger for me, especially if my tempo's off the way it usually is. <laughs> okay, so what he says here, da -da -da -da, Vietnam. Routed some silly hoes around it, and there we have it. There's some strategy, but really, it's just about getting around a fun plot without worrying about realism. Actually, really like how it came out, and I think there's some of the best views of any of my courses on this one. Also features a bridge count that would make JW Texan blush and a couple of metaphorical, metaphorical ones. Have fun. Yes, this does look nice. All right, let's go around and have a look at the clubhouse quickly. Where is the clubhouse? There it is up here. Let's zoom up here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, quite a nice modern looking clubhouse there. Very state of the art. Very nice looking. Okay, so where is the first tee? Huh? There I am down here. So we shall jump down on the first hole. Sit down here, have a quick look. It's a great theme for this kind of course. I take it this is the, the step theme, I'd imagine. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> you know me with the themes and golf uh, course design. I haven't got a bloody clue. Okay, nice couple of little waterfalls here, just coming down from different levels. Looks really nice. Oh, it goes all the way up to the towards the waterfall here. So we'll just take a little look around here. I like how he's used the. Got this whole spray coming off the top and down the bottom now. Very nice. Love the way it's sort of cascading through the trees there as well. Okay, let's get on to the course. Okay, at least he's went with morning instead of um, dusk or dawn with the, the overcast. The image you can see is very heavily clouded. But this does add that sort of atmosphere to it. That looks beautiful. I mean, look at the lighting on that. Very nice. Yeah, the round looks good. The planting is, with any of B101's designs, absolutely top notch. As I keep saying, if I play uh, any of his courses, he's one of my favorite designers in the game at the moment. And he's come along leaps and bounds over the last sort of year. Beautiful looking course. There's, there's there's a few designers. If they drop a course, I'll just, I'll go and play it immediately. There's, I'd say maybe about ten designers that'll do that with them. Uh, ben or B one hundred and one is one of them. And of course, you've got the likes of Arctic Fury, Crazy Canuck, R.J. Willis, Heisenberg, Victor Lin Sports. There's, there's there's so many good designers out there now. Reap Dug. So many. Okay. Oh, don't forget Mayday as well. He's one. <laughs> I keep forget. Then one just pops into my mind. But yeah, there's just so many good designers out there now. The game has come a long, long way in, in terms of design and the amount of designers we have. 
And I mean top class designers. I think what they should, I mean, a lot of the, got a lot of the designers that are actually in the Next Makers, uh, the 2K Next Makers program. I think what 2K should do and HP Studios <clears throat> for the next game. It's all the proper PGA Tour courses when they do the, the, the 3D mapping and all that type of thing. Yeah, get it laid down and all that. But I think they should hand it out to these designers to finish it off, put all the little finishing touches in, all the planting and all that kind of stuff. Because if you look at some of the, um, the proper PGA courses that are on the game just now and you fly around, you can pick up on a lot of mistakes, a lot of little things floating and the planting is not quite right and jagged edges here and things like that. I mean, there's one of them. If you go on Copperhead, uh, if you go play that course, you go to the car park, there's a car sitting at around 45 degrees and it's up on its back wheels and its back wheels are actually planted. They're clipping through the ground. Things like that, that these top designers wouldn't let go into one of their designs. So I think that would be a really good call if um, HP did that, uh, all the new courses, once they've got the 3D mapping and all that done, just hand them over to these guys and let them sort of do the finishing touches. And the courses would look absolutely beautiful. Right, I think let's take another quick look just to see if there's anything that I sort of missed. Don't think so. So I think we'll jump down and we shall get this started. Okay, hole one, it's a par five, it's 547 yards, 20 feet down. And let's see if we can hit a nice one off the tee. That's not too bad. Just slightly into the gray slow, it should still make it. Oh, that's got a good run on it as well. Nice big drive that. Just over 340 yards. Now, can we reach the green too? It looks like we can. Right, full hybrid. Okay, 226, uh, 23 feet up. Just bring that back just a touch here. Okay, nice, we get the perfect. It's turning, not too bad. Put a bit of loft on it, pulled it back a bit. Oh, look at that. That's going to be nice for an eagle putt on the first. Can we drain it? Can we get it? We shall see. Oh, that is not bad. Green speed's 154. Turn in. That's not bloody. Oh, yuck. I don't believe I did that. <laughs> Such an easy putt as well. Ah, uh, should have been an eagle. But we'll take the birdie anyway. Okay, hole two, it's par three. What have we got? 173, 21 feet down. So that is playing around about 166, I make that. Ooh. I think we'll stick with that, the 170. Got a little bit of wind against us. Okay, get perfect again, lovely. Oh, that is not bad at all. I actually aimed that a little bit right. I should have aimed it probably straight at the pin, I reckon. Okay, pick up another birdie that. Two for two. Okay, third hole, par four. Uh, 312. Ooh, drivable then. Ooh, I don't know. Might just bring the driver back a bit and just plant it on that little bit of fairway of that. I should be okay. That would just leave us a nice little pitch up to the green. Not a bad little spot. The land ball landed on there. Okay, get perfect again. Lovely. And that should stop pretty quick. Not as quick as I thought it would, but. Okay, another birdie.
That's nice with the, the waterfall there on the left. Just coming off the tee. Lovely. Right. What have we got here? Another par five. The fourth hole. 521. 81 down. Right. Lovely. Pitting. Get in there. Now, hopefully when I go upload this one, it's what now? It's whoa, about half one in the morning. YouTube, the last three videos I've done, it's taken about 20 hours just for it to process on the 1440. It hasn't done that in a long time. I don't know what the hell they're playing at over there. Okay, 255, 49 down. That is 245. 239 roundabout, 239, 230. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a five wood here. Maybe a little bit to the left. Green should actually force it round towards the hole. Oh crap. Big fast. It's still in the gray, so it might, yep, just made on to the green. Not going to hold though. Go on, go on. Oh, oh, that was so close. Oh, that rolled a bit there. And quite a flat looking putt. Okay, nice. It's another birdie. Okay, fifth hole, uh, par four, 443. Can we get over the top of that bunker? I don't think we'll just. Aim to the right of it, I reckon. We'll stay away from the left, just in case I do hit a fast. Slight slope, it's gonna push it a little bit to the right, but there's plenty of room up there. Should kick back in, I think, actually. And yes, it has, lovely. Okay, 316, that was not a bad drive. Okay, 165, two feet up, 161, just tiny touch loft on it there. Oh, slight slope, it's gonna stay up to the right. It's gonna leave us quite a big putt, I think. Oh, it's quarter a little slope there. Okay, 24 feet, no, 23 feet, four inches up. Oh, I think I might move a little bit more. It moved even more than I thought. So we'll take a part. That's slightly messed up our run of birdies there. Right, what have we got here? Nice little par three here. 105 yards, three feet up, so it's playing 106. A little bit of loft. Oh, lovely. Get it perfect. That'll do it. I'm going to pick up another birdie. I'll tell you what, I played it. I was playing earlier and my tempo was all over the place, but it seems to be doing not too bad at the moment. What I was doing, I was just quickly going through the um, PGA Tour. I was going to do uh, TPC Sawgrass. Typically, what I do now, I just skip all the non official or non real life courses on the PGA Tour. I just withdraw from them and just play the the real courses. <laughs> so my FedEx cut points are like really, really low. Okay, seventh hole. Right. What have we got? 93. Two feet up. I don't like going in when it's close to the water like this. Do 
just in case I hit a slope. That's not too bad, actually. We're on a bit of a slope. And the wind should push it a little bit in as well. Wow, that went right over, though. Get in. Oh, just lipped out there on the left-hand side. We'll take the par there. Nearly got it. Nearly dropped it. Okay, eighth hole, par four, 327. 327. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that wind, though. Damn it. If that wind wasn't there, I would have took that on. But if I hit, oh, I don't know. I was going to say if I hit 102, 103%, it might make it onto there. So let's just go for it. No, it's just went up to nine mile an hour now. Just drop it down to three wood. Oh, big fast. Stay. Oh, I've seen a little teaser trailer tonight for the Obi-Wan. The Obi-Wan Kenobi one. Uh, it's going to be starting up on Disney+. Plus. Oh, that looks good. It's one of the ones I've really been looking forward to. Mandalorian, I really like. I think Boba Fett. But for the last two episodes, I didn't really like it at all. But this looks absolutely fantastic. Even though it was only a slight, a little teaser for, I think it was only like about a minute. It looks really good. Okay. Let's see if we can get this. Nice. Okay, six under. Ninth hole, par three, 200 yards, 14 feet down. Let's drop that down to the five iron. No, I'll tell you what, let's drop it down to the six iron. Get a little bit of run on it. Oh, fast. Do you know what? I actually thought I hit a slow there. It just didn't feel right at all, <laughs> but it was a fast. Not too bad on the green, still potable from there. Right. Turn. Go on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There was a little um, video on Twitter tonight as well. It was like TPC Sawgrass, the 17th. And I can't remember what date it started. I think it was back in the 90s. And they showed all the players. I think it was all the players that had won it. <laughs> it showed them all teeing off on the 17th. I'm not sure if it was players that won it, but, but the only two they missed out was Phil Mickelson and Greg Norman. They didn't show them um, teeing off on the 17th. Now, I think that's got to do with this SGL, this Saudi Arabia uh, Super Golf League. Because they're the two that's been on about it. Um, especially Greg Norman and Phil, Phil Mickelson. Like he said the other week about it and got into a lot of crap over it. Lost all these sponsors and everything. Yeah, it's on Twitter. Just a little little video. Everybody teeing off on the 17th, except for them two. <laughs> so, right, what we've got here? 102, 27 up. So that is playing 111. All oh, right, so I'm going to have to bring that right back there, maybe. Okay, lovely. We get the perfect there. That's turning nice as well. Oh, just a little bit short. Too much um, loft on that one. Oh, come on. Just missed. Now, can we get the par, though? Just went past a little bit more than I thought it would. Nice. Okay, 11th hole, par four, 510. Seems smack a nice one. Come on. Ooh, yep, I felt that one. A little bit of a slope. Should be good, though. Plenty of room up there. Ooh, 
Ooh, that ran quite a bit there. Into the 340s. 345 yard drive, not bad at all. Slight downhill. A bit of wind against us as well. Oh, again, just slightly into that grey slope. Oh, it's a tough little putt. Big downhill up, 28 feet, one foot down. Just try and get it close. Oof. Didn't want to overhit it there. Okay, stop. It's okay. Yeah, if I slightly overhit that there, it would have been off the green. So we'll take the par there. Oh, I need to get a screenshot for the thumbnail as well. Okay, 12th hole, par three. Slightly uphill, it looks. Yep, 234, 23 up. So that is playing around about 230. Yeah, we should be good with the five wood, even though we've got that wind. Lovely. Hit it 102% as well. Just held it up in that transition just for a little bit longer. Oh, that's nice. Right on line as well. And we'll pick up the birdie there. Okay, 13th hole, par four, slight downhill. I think you might, because it's downhill, I've got a good feeling the driver might run out. So we'll pull it back a touch. And we hit a nice one, 94%. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Slight awkward little lie. Okay, 143, 29 up. So that's playing around about 153. Okay, you get the perfect. Oh, that swing was a bit gnarly. Bit all over the place there. Oh, lovely little putt, that one. Okay, eight under. Nice. 14th hole, part five, 534, 60 feet down, which means we should be able to cut this corner here. Oh, bit of a fast, but I did aim it way over to the right. Should be okay. Oh, it's going to be fine. Going to kick a little bit. No. Okay, hold it, bolt. That'll do. Can we reach the green in two, though? Right. Ooh, look at that. Right over the top of this water. Should be okay, though. Hit that slope there. Should feed it down towards the hole. Oh, damn it. I always tend to hit a little bit fast with them. Swinging over water, or I've got a difficult line into a green. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go with a pitch here. Let's bring it all the way back. That'll do lovely. Oh, I oh, thought that was going to go in. Oh, it's going to roll off. Damn. Might pick. Oh, I was going to say, might pick up a bogey here, but no. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we still get the birdie.
Right, 15th hole, par 4, 495. Okay, so I'm just up to this right hand side. Wind should push it. Oh, it's a slight fast as well. But again, I did aim over to the right. That'll do it. Oh no, that's going to run out. Oh, into the thick stuff as well. Okay, 83, 90%. That's not actually too bad there. Let's go two clubs up. I'm going to aim it way over to the right hand side here. The slope we're on. I just want to get it onto the green. Well, I'll tell you what, that turned a lot. This might be lucky. Oh, or slightly unlucky. Well, no, actually, I'd say that's all right. Especially if you do that. <laughs> It's a couple of nice little chippings we've had. Tell you what, when I was playing on the PGA Tour earlier, I had some cracking putts. I had about three three putts over 50 feet. Oh, some beauties there were. So I will get that out probably maybe Saturday or something, the TPC Sawgrass players, because that's one of my favorite tournaments, and I just love that course as well. Oh, what a sweet sound. Pitting. It's going to kick off to the right. Just missed this bunker. Whoa, look at the sloping on this fairway as well. Not a bad drive. 329. Leaves us 91. 11 down. So it's playing around about 87-ish. And let's just go with that. Slightly downhill. Let's have a look at the green. That should be okay. Come on. Lovely. Okay, we've got two holes left. I need to take a screenshot for the thumbnail. Okay, what do we got here? Par three. No, it's par four. Blooming neck. Nice. Driver will par four. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Might just aim it over here. Oh, we hit a peach. Get in there. Pull that back as well. Come on, come on. Oh, ho, ho. So close. Kind of a tough one to land the way the, the sort of Green's facing, sort of facing off to the right. Same that way up here. Oh, that was unlucky. We might get the par here. This just, could be a tough putt. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. Oh, it's turning. Oh, I just slipped out. So it looks like I'll have a look on the 18th, see what the screenshot is going to be like. If not, I'll probably just rip through it again and try and find a nice, nice green to take a screenshot on. Pitting, get in there. Lovely. Off the final tee. Beautiful looking hole. Okay, so it's par five, 225, nine up, so it's playing 228. 220 with a four hybrid. Lovely, get the perfect. Oh, that should turn it around towards the hole as well. Oh, go on. Oh, 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 ho, 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 ho. so close. Right, let me just take a quick screenshot. Uh, you know I'm going to get this anyway. <laughs> right, let's have a look. See if I want this one in. Can get the bridge in, get some of the water in there. A 
little bit of the clubhouse. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. I mean, I don't suppose many people take notice of the thumbnails, but I always like to try and get a nice one. That'll do. That's all right. That's a very, very nice course. So that is Hon, Hon Kao Bay, and that is by B101. And that is his course for the, the 2K Designer program. Very, very nice looking little course. Plays really well also. Give it a play. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.